and welcome back to Finch Plays FIFA 16 with Palermo in career mode. What a fantastic run of form we're on. I know I'm starting nearly every episode by saying this, but we really have been doing some fantastic stuff. Um, we've knocked into Milan out of the round of 16 of the Europa League, which means that next month in April, one day shy of my birthday, we are going to be going up to the quarterfinals against Ajax, which is going to be pretty pretty bad uh, for us but there is a, a stream of games here you know Ajax, Roma, Ajax, AC Milan, AC Milan again that cup match for some reason there's a massive month-long gap between the TIM Cup semi-final fixtures um, then we get Hellas Verona and then we get Juventus you know as we see at the end of the season it's gonna be pretty rough um, looking at this we did beat AC Milan 1-0 in the first leg of the semi-final so if we can uh, hold it to a draw or even better yet, get a win in there. That would be pretty decent. Um, so yeah, so far so good. Basically, we're looking to just keep that distance between us and Juventus as big as possible. The squad is a little bit knackered, so I'm going to make some uh, some changes here ahead of our game against Bari. I don't want to underestimate anyone. I did that a lot last season, much to, uh, to my chagrin, I think. So I, I don't want to end up in that spot. I'm going to take off Masucci for Chochev on this match day. Gonna keep Imbolo and Mascara on there, but I will make changes. Lozano's fucked as well. Uh, let's have a look. Who are we gonna bring on? Of course, we need to consider Giladino as a, an immediate uh, impact player. Almost tempted for Imbolo. He's relatively fast. Not like amazingly fast, but fast enough to maybe be a consideration. Uh, this lad is not fast. You know, Derdovic, he's had his time, but I, I just think he's, he's too out of the fray now. Um, I think we'll bring on Yayalo maybe for Erdegaard, just for a bit of solid, uh, solid shit there. Gonzalez is fine, Sorrentino's fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll make the best of what we've got. There are showers, but um, regardless, Villalba's on pretty good form since he missed the last game that we had through suspension. So without further ado, let's get in and see how we do. Welcome to you all. So here we are at the Stadion Olympic, Bari against Palermo. We are away from home today. We do kick off though, it's quite nice. Um, yeah, I think last season I was very, very, very prone to just, you know, even though I didn't really change much in the, uh, oh God, a terrible pass, I didn't change much in the, uh, in the squad, I must have had a very kind of like psychological predisposition towards underestimating the opponents, not really uh, giving them the time of day, and then being absolutely undone by them. You know, I thought Palermo were a really top tier side, but really at that point we were in a little bit of a, a bad way. Palermo, of course, have only in real life just escaped um, relegation. So I think the, the, the game still treats them very much that way. Uh, Mascara has some nice clutch control here, but I think this season I've been a lot better, uh, a lot less silly about the way that I do things. Oh my goodness gracious me, what a strike from Hillymark. I thought that was going to go sailing into the top corner. Um, but yeah, if we can keep up efforts like that, maybe try and put them in instead. I think we can have uh, quite a good game today. At the minute, it's just, you know, Bari just passing it around the back. I think maybe they're, they're aiming for a, a draw or something, but they will get one if they, if they keep this up. Uh, but we're going to feed in Mascaro, who's going to come in. Oh, it's a delicious finish. It does hit the keeper, but it is a top finish from Mascaro. He has had an absolutely incredible season here. I thought he was going to lead with his right foot there, but look at this space that opens up. We intercept the Bari attack. He slots it in there. The keeper will be really disappointed to let that in, but Mascara with a fantastic side foot does exactly what it needs to do. It's 1-0 Palermo. Pouring all those, uh, pouring all those skill games into the finishing is uh, really working out for Mascara recently. Certainly in Europe. I know I've mentioned it before. Oh, that's a, no, that's not how you play football. I feel you marking Bar. We're actually in here pretty deep. Um, bar. Uh, bar what am I trying to say here? In Europe is what I'm trying to say. Is where he's really been shining, and Bari were let in there on the spin that volley. Um, you know, he's it's really where he's been shining. Him and Masucci, my academy kids, have been having the absolute uh, best time in in the Europa League this season. Really happy to see it. It's always nice when your academy kids are doing well. You feel like a bit of a proud father, and I do. You know, I think I think they're well worth uh, it's well worth it investing in the in the system. And here is Mascara again. Oh, that's a great tackle. Mascara went down, but 
even he knows that was a top-notch tackle. Bring your mark strength there coming in as we stop uh, to stop Barry from getting getting back on it there. We've been very poor with possession this game. Barry were literally passing rings around us for a wee while, uh, which is not what I want from a relegation prospect team. And we are going to feed Mascaro in here again. This time the keeper does get a strong enough hand on it. And Mascaro on the spin. Oh, he's hit the bloody bar. Fucking hell. What a turn from him. He should have finished off the first effort. The second one was far more speculative. But he got way more on it than I thought he would. Fucking hell. Barry, get out of jail there. Not the player to find. Uh, apparently not the player to find him. And Bolo trying to draw them out. And Mascaro just did not seem to want to run for that there. And Bolo's going to pick it up. We know that he can score them. And feed it towards Vasquez. He's going to turn. He's going to get tackled. Just not quick enough there on the spin. Oh, no. Horrible for Bari. The bounce there. I, you know what? I'd seen that happen before it happened. Jesus wept. Uh, Mbolo is going to preside over this, I think. Into the top corner. Oh, what a save. What a save. What a save from the keeper. Bloody hell. And now Mascaro is going to have a drive. He's going to hit the fucking crossbar, but it doesn't matter because the uh, the referee has blown the whistle for half time. Jeez, it's all going off at the end of the first half. But uh, we do conclude the first half out one nil to Palermo. It was a great goal by Mascaro. Really good play from us, chasing down the balls. Um, yeah, there will be changes in the second half because everyone's shattered. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can score some more goals in the second half. A couple of changes here. Yala Masucci, Mitsegas on. Imbolo, Vasquez and Hillymark off. Uh, I've realised as well that we, we have a, uh, a... What's it called? An international break coming up. So really, fitness isn't as much of a big thing as it would be normally. We've still got a lot of... Uh, a lot of kind of time in between. There's going to be a lot of training to be done inside that break. But there's not going to be any games I need to worry about for fitness. So... For the time being, I'm happy just to kind of let the boys run around there if Yalo will ever walk again after this terrible tackle from Falsetas. I was quite keen to bring uh, Gilardino on. But, uh, he's, uh, he's in his swan song season. I'm feeling if we, uh, if we can win some silverware this season, he might, he might consider staying on, helping train the youngsters. I know I've got a... Uh, a good young striker that could use his his guidance there. Uh, Mascaro was actually a fantastic run, but just not quite the legs to uh, to make it happen. He's been doing so well. Obviously, the goal is is a good indication of that, but also just the fact that he's been he's been everywhere. I mean, we've moved him around the pitch, and he sits nicely on that wing. He also sits nicely in a in a midfield spot. So, you know, wherever you put him, he's he's doing the good stuff. And I'm glad about that. You know, I feel like we've got a really great academy. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, a really great academy kid who's doing exactly what we want him to do. And Yalo. Can Masucci do exactly what we want him to do as well? I think he can. As he sneaks in for Villalba. Oh, it's a shot straight at the keeper. <laughs> Saw it coming a mile away. Um, but hopefully not too much. And oh, look at that gap there. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Here comes Villalba. Oh, that's a heavy touch. He gets it off. It's a free header for Chochev. It is a free header. And he could not steer it anywhere but at the, uh, at the keeper. And now bloody Kotal can't even string a fucking pass together. What is, what is going on here? He brings it back. Masucci across to Mascaro. Oh, he's still got it. He's still going with it. He's got the shot off. It's forced to save from the keeper. It was a good snap shot there. I think the keeper was trying to attack his own defender there, but um, Jesus, commotion in the Bari box. Ooh. Deflection favorable for us. And look at the room. Look at it, look at it, look at it. We're gonna feed Menseguez. He's gonna run in there. Gonna run across, he's gonna send it for Yayalo. Look at the space that was there. It was absolutely infinite. Menseguez, absolute team player, consummate team play there. He picked it up. I don't know where that defender went. He left me completely. Fed it across for Chochev. It's a decent finish. We've seen <laughs> we've seen that you can miss them recently, but that was a good one. It's 2-0 Palermo. 
Not an award-winning performance uh, from Palermo today, I must say. But certainly not the worst that we've had. Um, we're doing just fine. Uh, we might do even better here. What an incredible pass. And then Sega... Oh, no! It's supposed to be a fake shot, you dunce! God almighty! I was about to say Menseguez might get the goal that he deserves after passing it across, but Jesus, he's fucking floundered at it. And I, notably, I floundered at it with uh, the fucked up fake shot. It was a delicate situation. He apparently didn't want to score. Um, we will send it forward for him, though, just in case on the off chance. Feed it forward for Mascaro, who's going to feed it forward to their goalkeeper. I'll say that's probably the end of proceedings here. We've only got two minutes of, uh, of additional time. Can't be that much more of it. There goes the final whistle. It's 2-0 Palermo. It's not an exciting uh, show-stopping performance from us. I'll say that for free. But, um, yeah, three points in the bag, keeping the pressure on Juventus. They were 2-0 up against La Spezia at halftime. So we really had to win our match to keep things ticking over. And we have done that. So here we are in the aftermath of that game against bottom side Bari. We did the business. We did everything that needed to be done. Uh, Bari is still losing, according to the headlines. Um, it's a bit of a shame, really. Uh, we did get... I will quickly flick through this. I've got to send my scouts back out. I didn't realize it was the last month of our scout report. So having a quick look at this, we've got Andre Ramos at the back. He's pretty good. I should actually put a lot more training into him than I have been. Uh, Andre Ferreras, I think, we'll just let go at this point. Dario Vadejo, our winger. Actually does look surprisingly quite promising. I should definitely pour more into him. Uh, Cordoba, obviously, is that fullback we've had who's doing pretty well. I'm looking to put some more training into him. Salzano, don't see him coming good. Uh, Sorrentino, 1854 rated. I don't think so. Succi, 1649 rated. I also don't think so. Uh, Batocchio, you know, there's room for improvement, but I, I just cannot see me putting enough in uh, to make him worth it. Same with this Geronimo Soria, even though his first name is Geronimo, which is quite frankly amazing. Um, I don't see that coming good for us. Uh, Juan Aguilar, got a top name, but I don't see that being particularly useful for us. This lad here, Juan Fernandez, I've been pouring quite a lot of, um, what do you call it, a lot of training into him for the chance creation. He's got a little bit of pace on him that you're, you're going to hope is, is going to get better. His stamina, his strength is all right. Um, you know, the, the stats for striking that he's got are easy enough to train. So I'm, I'm keeping him around... You know, I can see me yelling Juan Fernandez when he scores the Champions League final winning goal. I don't know. Uh, Juan Torres. Six, I just don't see it. I mean, high potential, but not really good enough, I don't think. And Mario Ruiz, he's got decent enough stats, but 48 at 17 is pretty untenable. Miguel Soretto. Uh, I don't actually remember him very well, so I'm going to keep hold of him. I did get rid of a lot, so we're down to five here. Uh, but I feel like we needed to make that kind of... Uh, that kind of clear out if you like. Mata Yiyalo suffered a train, uh, sorry, a sprained knee, not a trained knee, a sprained knee in training, so he'll be out for seven days. Not too much of a problem. Let's check our scout reports quickly. I do apologize if you can hear any outside noise. We're going to have to keep the windows open because it is getting unholy levels of, uh, of hot in Seoul at the moment. These ones don't look particularly good to me. Nope. Seems like Spain was a bit of a fluff there. We'll have a look in Argentina. Cesar Miguel, Manuel Adolfo, Mario Santana, Rodrigo Marquez. Jeez, the potentials are so low on these people. Um, into Italy, Andrea Macera, no. Francesco Rea, goalkeeper, high potential, but 17 years old. I don't see it working. Nicola Giosa. Okay, now we're, we look like we're striking gold. He looks pretty good. Uh, Robert Shecker, I think, probably is going to be a no from me, but I will have a quick look at uh, this new lad that we've just had a look at, not in here, actually, in our youth academy. Nicolo Giosa. Okay, so he's 52 rated, which is a bit shit, and his physicals are terrible. Um, but hopefully, hopefully, he will grow a wee bit. Um, he might require quite a lot of training, actually. I'm not too sure, but we'll see. He's also 4 foot 8, 123 pounds. That's astonishing. Um, we will probably put a lot more training into Videjo and Juan Fernandez, since they look as though they've got the decent potential to do what we need. But uh, anyway, our final game in the episode is going to be up against Chievo Verona. As you can see, Mbolo's on 14 goals. I really want him to beat Pizzini and Rossi to the Golden Boot this season. Uh, the squad is absolutely fucking bouncing at the moment after the international break. Um, I'm going to make... Ooh, am I going to make some changes? We do have Ajax midweek. I think I might make a couple of changes because Chievo Verona aren't, you know, absolutely deadly enemies. I, I say that, I believe... <gasps> No. That 
fuck are we sold? That horrible Swedish fella. Who was he? Who was he? Oh god, we've sold him to Ki whoever he is. His name escapes me, but we've sold him to Kieva Verona, and he was our undoing last time. Yeah, we got field the full squad, no doubt. Here we go. Fucking, it's clear as day. Let's get going. Let's absolutely wreck them. Okay, so here we are with Palermo up against Kievo Verona. It's uh, scary times. I, could, I still can't remember the name of that, that guy. But his face is, uh, is well in my head. I, can't, I don't think I can see him on the park either, unless they're playing in a wide position here at the moment. But um, Victor Bursa as well, I should probably mention, was a pain in the ass uh, quite a lot throughout the season. So... Uh, I will keep an eye on him. Poloski as well is quite a dangerous striker. I think he's playing at Swansea now in real life. I can't remember. But um, yeah, anyway. We're at home on a glorious day here in Palermo. We shouldn't have too much trouble whatsoever against these guys. We can get some good breaks under our belts. Villalba's got the fucking bit between his teeth. Look at him go. Um, if we can get some good breaks here, we should be able to get something good going. Bloody hell. Physics not working well there for me. And Poloski goes for a quick snapshot. He goes just wide. Um, yeah, we're basically just... We've been playing really well. I see a bit of space in the middle. It's good. Oh, Vasquez with a volley. What an incredible pass that was from Masucci. He saw what I saw. And he fed Franco Vasquez. I had to take it first time. I had to. Absolutely had to. Oh, such a shame for that to go wide. But saying that, it's very likely that they could uh, they could make us or make me regret saying that at least. See if we can slip it through for Mascara. He's going to have a shot. Oh, I don't know why I had a shot. I should have squared it possibly. I think there was a bit of room in the middle there. I thought the angle was slightly less tight than it was. We'll take the, uh, the corner here with Lazar sending it in. And Lazar's going to pick it back up again. Up to Hillymark. Back to Gonzalez. No, we're not in any rush. Keep things ticking over. Gonzalez back over to Lazar. Let's not get too under pressure here. Will you mark now? Over to Masucci. Look at that space in Bolo. Do you see it? He does! And he finds the near post. Seculin dives. It's not going to save him though. In Bolo, I'm not. I'm lost control of him. He's over to the sideline. He's celebrating with everyone. Makianok. Um, and Seges. Jesus Webb. What a fantastic goal that was. You know, usually I'm so quick to rush after uh, corners and, you know, make snap decisions with ridiculous shots that have a, a very low likelihood to, to kind of go in. But we played it across. There was a massive gap over here. Imbolo ran through. It was a good finish. It's 1-0 Palermo. Maybe we can pressure here. Is there a good enough ball that we can send? Oh, again. None of those passes went to anyone that I was asking it to go to. Well, that's amazing. Um... I thought maybe one of the passes could slip it through. FIFA has a habit of uh, knowing a bit more than me. Oh, and Bolo's in a similar position here. He's going to cut. Find a bit of room, and he sends it across for his second. 27th minute. Imbolo finds his brace, and that's him up to 16 goals this season. Absolutely incredible. Exactly the same bit of space. This time he decides to cut in, gets round his defender. Just manages to slot it between the goalkeeper and the defender, and it's 2 0 Palermo. Good passing play from us here. Get it through to Masucci. Sends it through for Villalba. Oh, Villalba. He can move through. Oh, it's a great save. Oh! Is it an own goal or is it Mbolo? Tell me it's Mbolo. Tell me it's Mbolo for his hat trick. Somebody's celebrating like it's his. Oh my goodness gracious me. What a fantastic goal that was. Masucci nipped it through for Villalba and his shot was far too central. Vasquez nips it across and I think, I think it's Mbolo that's got the last touch on that, on the line. Oh my goodness. I think the defenders cleared it off in Bolo's boot into his own net. It's being given to him. 17 goals this season. 3 0 Palermo. I don't know what I fed him this morning, but he is absolutely having a laugh out there at the moment. Cannot stop scoring for the life of him. Unfortunately, we probably are going to want to substitute him uh, at the end of this half as we go into the second half, maybe get Minsegues on. We do have a big game against 
uh, Ajax and I need to play smart. Uh, I'd love for Mbolo to get the golden boot and this might be a chance for him to get goal number four. It is goal number four for Mbolo. Holy shit. The first Palermo player in this career mode both seasons to score four goals in one match and he's done it before fucking half time. Oh my word. The first one should have been a finish but he set himself in to just nod it past the defender into the back of the net. Breel Donald in Bolo four. Keep it running now. Absolutely amazing. The uh, the international break has done us some really good stuff, you know. <laughs> Seemingly uh, everyone four shots, four goals. What the fuck do you stop that? Absolute machine. Um, I will make some changes for the second half. Nothing big, nothing major. I just want to rest some players so they're definitely 100% for the Ajax game midweek. But yeah, absolutely cracking first half. Erdegaard, Menseges, Lozano on for Imbolo, Mascaro and Masucci. That holy trinity that's going off for the ones that are really on form. I uh, want to keep them fresh for the Ajax game. Uh, it, it pains me to take Imbolo off. It really does. I'm sure he could have got another four in this half but um, we'll give Menseges a chance see what he can do Herving Lozano hasn't played in a couple of games see if he can produce the goods and it's a great defensive tackle from Kieva Verona glad to see that we're starting the second half uh, the same way we ended the first keeping the pressure on Erdegaard's going to get this one going to cut in here see if we can do a trick our way in nope apparently not that's not on the cards here <laughs> Erdegaard, as I say, has been a bit of a disappointment, all things considered. I'm, I'm maybe not playing him properly. Maybe our formation doesn't suit him or something like that. Who knows? But um, it's, it's a shame to see that because I'd really like to see him come good. I was hoping his, uh, his physicals would improve. Oh, wow. That ball managed to sneak its way through. Lazar's got long legs. Some snappy passing from Kievo Verona. But uh, ultimately doesn't lead to much as we get the ball back. And Lozano's free. He's got a bit of pace on him. Can we slip it through for Menseges? His defender got just ahead of him there to get the vital touch. Lazar can do an outswinger here. Oh, and maybe Menseges can take it down, drill it in. Will it get a lucky deflection? Hilliamark! Oh! Hilliamark gets the deflection on the volley. And this is an absolute rout for Kievo Verona. It's 5-0 on the stroke of the hour it's a really lucky def uh, deflection there the Kievo players were throwing themselves in the way of everything Menseges sent one in it's great control from Hilly Mark it's a really unfortunate deflection really shouldn't really be celebrating that as much as we are but 5-0 top ball nonetheless gotta be careful don't want Hilly Mark to get uh, sent off I know I've been a bit gung-ho with challenges recently um, this is good passing though from Keva Verona and that cut in was far too easy. Gonzalez sticks a toe out and then just to knock it out for a corner. Positive here is that maybe we can break. I think Menseges is still the furthest man forward. Um, oh no, there he is. Uh, <laughs> not the furthest man forward but Lozano is and he is no slouch. Um, Menseges sends it through to Erdegaard. I have no idea why Erdegaard is uh, as far forward as he is. But he's going to send it in for Menseges. Oh, Menseges, you've got to finish that. You've got to finish that. Even if you're sliding in, bloody hell. Off the tip of his boot and round the post. That through for Lazar. Towards Menseges. Erdegaard, I don't think, has scored in a few millenniums, but that's by the by. Maybe Menseges can slip through. Oh, Christ. Not only was that a horrendous tackle ridiculous in fact it's only going to be a booking but Menseges looks like he's injured himself as well which is a real ball ache at this time in the game we've taken off most of our good free kick takers uh, I guess Hillymark is the man on the, uh, on the money let's see if he can uh, put it in good he can't he sends it over he's not really been the subject of my uh, my free kick taking recently but I hope Menseges can shake whatever it is that's, uh, that's ailing him off in time to finish that Whoa. <laughs> I spoke too soon saying he was injured that was dangerous play from the uh, the goalkeeper to send it to his defender like that Mensege is just the faster between them Sekulin will be kicking himself Frey will as well he came in it's a great finish it's a great finish shot finish and that is six 
Hoofs it up, surely that's it. There it is. Final whistle, Palermo 6, Chievo Verona nil. A massive, massive, massive win for Palermo. I think that's our biggest that we've ever recorded. One of the best games we've played. Um, Mbolo getting four goals is absolutely astronomical and certainly cements his, uh, his chances of getting the golden boot this season. Here we are after that game against Chievo Verona. What a fucking result that is. Um, six for us. Keeps us at the top. Um, as you can see in the news, Champions Cup glee is definitely for Palermo. Whatever happens this season, even if we lose every single game from here on out, we are guaranteed to be in the Champions League next season, which is obviously a massive, massive thing for us. It's what we were aiming for last season. We set our sights really, really high. But um, we are definitely going to be in the Champions League next season. Absolutely stoked about that. Um, our next game is going to be against Ajax in the quarterfinals. Uh, but that's going to be tackled next time, I believe. So, thank you very much for sticking around. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I, I'm still kind of shell-shocked from that uh, from that massive game. <laughs> Bloody hell. Um, if you did enjoy the episode, please do leave me a like and a subscription. If you're enjoying the series, please do let me know in the comments as well. It means lots to me to read your comments and uh, know that people are enjoying the series. And I'll catch you guys next time.